it's Amy. I hope you're all having a lovely day. My hair is a bit crazy right now, but it's okay because I'm going to be washing it in about, I don't know, once I'm done catching up with you guys over here on Daily Amy. So I'm going to have a little chat with you guys to start off this week's vlog. I'm going to start by talking about you guys who have exams coming up. Or well, actually, I think the GCSEs have already started. I'm not too sure about A-levels, but I know GCSEs already started this week that we're on right now. I think they started on Monday. Not entirely sure, but I'm just going to say that anyway. Um, I went through my GCSEs last year, and I'm sure the situation is similar to A-levels. Of course, it's not exactly the same because A-levels are harder, different level. But they are kind of similar situation because I even took some of my GCSEs in the same room as people doing their A-levels, and we all had to sit in that silent exam hall. Like, it was all, all the same kind of... You know, not the same literal exam, but the same kind of situation. You'd feel the same nerves, feel the same stress, if you know what I'm trying to say. So I completely get you guys who are going through your exams. And I just wanted to talk about it because I feel like it's nice for you guys, if you're taking a break from your exams right now, to watch this vlog, for me to be talking about it, and for you guys to understand that everyone has their GCSEs, everyone has their A-levels. You don't need to be nervous or stressed about it, but if you are, that's completely normal because... <laughs> Why wouldn't you be, you know, you are going to be a bit stressed and a bit nervous, but honestly you don't need to be and I feel like in this vlog, um, not right now because I want to just talk about my week quickly, but straight after I spoke about that because I actually need to charge my camera, it's quite low on charge, after I spoke about that I'll charge my camera and then I'm going to come back and talk to you guys about some advice for getting through your exams and everything just to help you guys out because I feel like I should do all I can for you guys, of course this is what worked for me during my GCSEs. However, it may work for some of you guys, and I feel like it's just nice to talk about that subject while you guys are going through that. Anyway, back onto the subject of my week. It is now Monday evening. Yeah, Monday evening, it's nearly 7 o'clock. So I'm going to talk to you guys about why I've started this vlog on Monday and what I've done over the rest of the week. So the last day I vlogged was last week on Wednesday. I didn't vlog on Thursday because I didn't realise you guys would be interested Oh, what's that? In what I did, I went to the dentist and I got my nails done. Ooh, have to keep having these weird yawn things. Ooh, another one's coming. Okay, you guys said you would like to see me get my nails done, um, but I didn't know because this was Thursday and then I uploaded the last week's vlog on Friday and then you guys commented it, so I didn't know this time around. However, I will in the future. This is what my nails look like, in case you guys are interested. They are so pretty. I love them so much. Then on Friday and Saturday, Aaron was around my house and we kind of treated Friday and Saturday as our weekend rather than Saturday and Sunday. We just chilled for a bit, didn't really do much, that was kind of like a little rest and chill for the week. On Sunday we filmed a main channel video which I'm not going to go into too much detail. And that is what we did on Sunday. Today is Monday. Today I haven't really done much so far, I've just been thinking about what I'm going to talk about in my vlog this week, what I'm going to do main channel videos wise in the future. and. All of that sort of stuff, I've been planning the week ahead, all of those kind of things. I haven't been doing too much. I also want to start getting some figure revision done. I haven't done any since I last updated you guys, but hopefully over this vlog there will be some new updates. I also have a lot of things to show you guys. Well, it's not that much, but I have quite a few things to show you guys that I have bought um, since last week's vlog. And just little things I wanted to show you guys I've got because I thought you guys might be interested. So it's like a mini haul of a load of random things. And there may be a haul later on in this vlog, or it might be in next week's vlog, depending on when the package comes. If it's not in this vlog, I promise you guys it will be in next week's vlog. However, I really do hope it is in this week's vlog. So, just informing you guys about that. Um, so, let's start with my little haul right now. The first two things I have are these Nivea lip balms. I have Pearly Shine. Doing the little beauty guru <laughs> thing. And I have Peach Shine. The pearly shine I've always had and I just ran out and I needed I needed it again. I wear this like 24-7. The, the peach shine is one that I'm trying out because I thought the colour was so gorgeous so I wanted to try it. I also got this which is the fox tan. If I'm right, you're meant to put this mist on, it's rapid mist, you're meant to put it on before you go into the sun, before you have sun exposure and it will help you to get a tan. It says here, rapid mist activates with repeat UV exposure. So basically every time you go in the sun, put this on and you will tan more. I haven't used it yet. I might use it in the next week, depending on how hot it is. But I'm going to test it out and see how it goes. The next thing I have is this eyeshadow palette. 
This is the MUA Makeup Academy Professional 15 Shade Palette Fire Vixen. I have literally never really had a proper eyeshadow palette that I've always used. I always use the same eyeshadows, however they're on this little circle thing and I always use the same shade and it's not a proper palette, it's just like four colours. I have three versions of those which have gold, blue and pink, which are the kind of eyeshadows that I use but they're not really proper makeup <laughs> eyeshadow if you know what I mean. So I really wanted to get a proper eyeshadow palette because I don't really have one. Then I have a package which came today. The reason I got this package is because I already have an item just like this, oh god, which I literally live in. If you've seen my vlogs then you will probably know what I'm talking about. It's a nighty, which I literally live in. I bought it at first because I thought it was so pretty and I just wanted to wear it for looks wise. I never thought it would be comfortable enough to wear to bed because I'm so fussy about what I wear to bed and my comfort. However, I then started wearing it and I realized it's so comfortable. I live in it now, like, oh, it's so good. The nighty is from Victoria's Secret. You can find links to where to buy it from on my Instagram story highlights. So if you guys are interested, go follow me on Instagram. My name is Hello It's Amy. So I basically decided to get a second one for when the first one is in the wash. So I've got this pink one, which is so beautiful. It's even more beautiful in person. And I have my red one, which you guys will see in previous vlogs and Instagram pictures. It's everywhere, okay? <laughs> but this is so pretty. I'm so excited to wear this. I literally, I knew, I knew I couldn't, I couldn't wait you know, the days where my red 90s in the wash without wearing one of my 90s. Technically, I didn't have 90s at that point, but you know what I mean, without wearing the 90s because it's just so beautiful. So, that is my little haul. However, I now have, I've saved the best till last, basically. I have something amazing to show you guys. Like this, 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 this is amazing. I don't even know what I'm supposed to say when showing you guys this. Ah! This is another package that has came. It's a very big one, let me tell you that. And it is also probably the biggest thing that I've ever achieved in my entire life in this box. Well, not technically, technically not just in this box, but this is the award for the biggest thing that I've achieved. Let me show you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a one million subscriber plaque I thought a thousand subscribers wouldn't even be possible for me at one point I thought 10,000 wouldn't even be possible for me then I thought 100,000 and then I thought a million would be possible and <coughs> you guys have made everything possible that I never thought would be possible and I don't even know what to say I can't thank you guys enough for what you guys have done for me, like this is a dream come true and <laughs> what? <laughs> like it doesn't feel real, like it's m me who has a million subscribers on YouTube. Like I've dreamed of doing YouTube forever. Since I was so young, YouTube has always been my dream. Everyone's been like, oh, I'm gonna be a professional footballer. I'm gonna be a singer. I've been like, I'm gonna be a YouTuber. <laughs> and I have a million subscribers. <laughs> Look at this award, it's so pretty. Like, there, there's never gonna be enough that I can say to you guys to thank you guys for that because nothing can replace that, but you guys are everything to me and I thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for everything you guys have done to me, for me, for me. It means the world to me and I am so lucky to have you guys and I'm very, very aware of that. I love you all and thank you. <laughs> so now I finished the little update that I was giving to you guys. I thought I would quickly talk to you guys about some exam advice. I just waited for my camera to charge for a few minutes before I spoke about this because it was low on charge. I was waiting ages, it took ages to charge, but now I'm back. So my advice for your exams would be some things that work for me, which I'm not sure if they're gonna work for everyone, but they definitely work for me and I just thought I'd say them to you guys because I know it helped me out when I was doing my exams to see people talking about the same thing, to see <clears throat> that they could relate to what I was doing. They were also worried, they were also a bit nervous and that was all okay so I thought I'd talk about that. 
So my first bit of advice would be, when revising, the main way that I revised was I go into school an hour before my exam and I sit with a friend or with the teacher that taught the subject and I'd go through everything that I needed to learn, I'd do loads of revision in that hour as much as I could. I wouldn't jam pack everything in if I couldn't, but as much as I could and at a pace where I was actually picking things up, <clears throat> my throat suddenly got really funny. <laughs> And that would always help me out for the exam because my mind would be refreshed on everything that I needed to learn. The next thing that I would say is try to keep your nerves as low as possible. <laughs> Which I know sounds really hard because of course you're doing your GCSEs or your A-levels or either way they're going to be some quite big exams. However, when you're actually in the exam try not to stress too much because if you do stress too much then... You're going to waste time stressing, where, whereas you could be answering the questions. Luckily, in my exams, for some reason, I didn't stress as much. I stressed more before the exams than I did when I was actually in them. When I was actually in them, it didn't really seem real. It was the actual exam, so I didn't actually stress that much. Like, if I didn't get a question, I'd just move on and then come back to it, and eventually it came to my mind, or it didn't. Either way, I managed to pass the exam because I did pass all of my GCSEs in the end. So... Even if you do miss a couple of questions, you can still pass the exam, like it's not the end of the world, so don't stress yourself out too much about it, just make sure you do the best you can do, because we can all only do our best. Another thing that I'd recommend, I never actually did this myself, but I thought of it and I think it would have really helped me out, is I've got this weekly planner here. It's a really pretty one. <laughs> I don't have this now for exams or anything, I just have it to plan my weeks in general. I haven't actually used it yet, but... As you can see, it has every day of the week written out there. And you can write down what subjects you want to revise, or if, I know now the exams are actually happening, if you'd rather just write what exams when, and when you can fit in revision slots or things like that, I feel like that would really help anyone out. I feel like it would have really helped me out because I could be planned with what I was doing, and I would be ready, have a schedule. It would also help with nerves and things because you know what you're doing, rather than just going <laughs> for everything as it comes. So that's something that I would also recommend. So those are all of the things I'd recommend. Another thing that I'd recommend, actually, one last thing, is to think of a revision technique that works for you. The one that always worked for me was cue cards. I would definitely say that worked for me best. You should definitely try and find what revision technique works for you. If you're a visual learner or if you like to read things, if you like to write things down, if you like to have people testing you, which I did with cue cards and things like that. I know your exams have already started, but of course you do want to keep the revision going during your exams. Which is actually the main time I revised. I mainly revised the hour before my exams. That was the main time when I got all of my revision in because it kind of refreshed in my mind. Of course, I in my mind. Of course, I did revise before, but I would say the main revision was during those exam weeks. So, anyway, I wish you all the best of luck for your exams. That's all the advice I have to give. However, I'm sure there are loads of videos on YouTube about revision, about your exams and things that you guys can find, and your teachers, your friends maybe older siblings, your parents will all be able to give you advice that can help you out during this time and I hope you all have the most amazing time doing your exams which sounds weird but <laughs> exams can be enjoyable with your friends because you're all sharing a mutual experience and it can be really fun so I hope you guys all enjoy your exams and I also hope you all get the results that you want and I wish you all the best of luck. Of course you're not getting your results for a while but this is the time that it counts so I wish you all the best of luck and that's all about the exams, so now for the rest of tonight I'm just going to be having a bath I think because there's a new episode of Riverdale out and whenever there's an episode of Riverdale out I like to watch it in the bath <laughs> where it sounds really weird but I like to have a relaxing bath and watch Riverdale so that's what I'm going to do for the rest of tonight. I don't think I should vlog it because I'm having a bath. <laughs> I think that's obvious. Um, However, I will keep you guys updated throughout the week on what I'm up to, but that is all for today, so I will see you guys very soon. Hey everyone, so it is now Wednesday, but a package just came. Here it is. It's a pretty little thing. Oh, I feel like that's going to be too noisy while I'm talking. Let me move that. It's from Pretty Little Thing, and I ordered quite a bit of stuff. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> So I'm going to be trying it all on for you guys, I thought I'd do a little try on haul in this vlog because I'm going to be trying everything on, deciding what I want to keep, what I want to take back, if I want to take anything back, so that's what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be checking all the sizing and everything, so I thought I'd do that for you guys in this vlog because it would be quite fun to do, that's the main thing I'm going to be doing today because I have ordered quite a few things, <laughs> oops, let's get into 
the packaging. This is the first item of clothing on. This is what it looks like. I've paired it with these white boots. Let me show you guys the straps a bit. I love the straps. They remind me of my nighty. If you guys haven't seen my nighty then. It's basically a Victoria's Secret red nighty and it has lace like this around the kind of strap area. And also this dress is super comfortable. So I'd be super comfortable going out in this and I wouldn't feel like, oh, feel like tight and, oh, I just like how comfortable this is as well. It's lovely. So this is definitely going to be a keep. I'm really impressed with this. It actually looks a lot nicer than I expected it to. The name of this product is, ooh, hold on, let me get it. Dusty Blue Lace Trim Slip Dress. So if any of you guys are interested in this dress, then that is what it's called on Pretty Little Things. You guys could get it if you like. But this is what it looks like. I got it in a size 4. It's lovely. Great style. This is the next item of clothing that I have ordered. Just the top. The shorts are mine. I just thought I'd put them on so I can try on all the summery tops. For you guys, because this was kind of a summer order, getting ready for summer. I'm also wearing it with the boots again, but I do have some trainers that I'd wear this with, which I can show you guys in the future. I haven't actually shown the trainers in my vlogs yet, they're like my new trainers, I love them so much. So I'll show you guys in a vlog in the future the trainers that I'm talking about, because I probably will be wearing them very soon. <laughs> However, I really like, oh my god. Okay, I'm going to have to put a censored over that. <laughs> I was about to say I really like this top, but then I realised it's very see-through. I do really like this top, however... I'm going to need to put something to cover myself up a bit because it is very see-through. So hopefully I'll be able to find a way to do that. And then this top is perfect, so... Yeah, I'm going to have to edit something over that though. Hopefully you guys will see the thing that I've edited there. But it is a really nice top. Oh no, it's just a bit see-through. Also, just quickly, as I forgot to tell you guys, that top was called Pink Stripe Bandu Top and I got it in a size 4. So this next top, I'm not actually sure if I feel comfortable showing on YouTube. I'm going to film it anyway, but I have a feeling there may be a censored thing over here in the vlog. It's a, It actually is a nice top. It does fulfil its purpose. It's a bit more revealing than I expected it to be. Basically, let me explain to you guys what it looks like. So you guys can know if there is a censored here, then I'll explain to you guys what the top looks like. It's a red kind of bra top with a knot in the middle. However, the bra for me kind of comes up a little bit, so you can see under boob as well as top boob. Cleavage, that's what it's called, cleavage. <laughs> um, anyway, so it's a bit more revealing than I expected it to be. I thought it was just going to be the top part showing rather than the bottom as well. However, I do really like the top and I think it will look super cute underneath something because it's a bright red colour, so it will look really nice. I don't have anything to try on with right now as I didn't actually order anything like that, which is a shame, and I'm not sure if I have anything like that, but I can get something like that for this top, because I love this top. It's a very summery top. A very summery top. <laughs> if you're really hot, this, this top will be great. <laughs> However, as much as I love the top, it is a bit revealing, so... Yeah, but I thought I'd talk to you guys about it anyway. In case you guys want to see what the top actually looks like, I will tell you the name right now. Red Knot Front Bralette. Again, it's in a size 4. It may be the sizing for me. Maybe I need to go up a size on these more bra kind of tops. I'll go up to a size 6 because I tend to get my normal size in bra tops. But I think I need to get a bigger size than my normal size. So maybe that's the issue here. Because it is a lovely top all in all. This is the next top. This top is lovely. And it's one that you can't really wear with a bra because of the straps. They're quite far in. So your bra would like show quite a bit. Maybe ruin the effect of the top. I suppose you could. But for me, I just don't think... It would give the effect I want it to, if that makes sense. However, the top is also see-through. So I've got myself covered with my hair on my hand. <laughs> um, but I do need to get something to wear underneath these kind of tops. You can get um, things that can stop the tops from being so see-through. I think nipple covers and things like that. Which I am going to get. However, I'm not going to show anything in this video because I don't have any yet. <laughs> However, the top is lovely. It just has a little rainbow and has a white vest. So it's a lovely top. Again, looks really cool with the outfit that I've got on. <laughs> I didn't even mean for it to, but I love it with this outfit. So, yeah, I got this in a size 4 again. Let me check what it's called and get back to you guys. This is the white embroidered rainbow strappy top, in case this you guys are wondering. This is the next top which I'm trying on. It is this vest, and it's kind of cut. It looks really nice. It's, it's quite a short vest, but it's a very cropped vest. And it's very summery. It goes very well with my outfit again. I really love this. I've seen this over social media quite a bit and it looks so nice so I really wanted to get it and 
This vest has not failed to impress. <laughs> it looks amazing in person. I love it so much. Let me just get the name of it for you guys. This is the White Rib Deep V Raw Edge Crop Top. I got this in a size 4. This is Again. the next top. It's a baby blue double knot top. I'm kind of holding my hand here because... Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Hay fever. Hay fever. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm holding it back. I'm not sure where this lady in the picture actually has this top position, but she has like nothing showing and it looks lovely on her. She looks amazing. But for me, everything seems to want to come out. So I can't really wear this top. So I think this is going to be the first thing that I'm taking back. Although the top is lovely, I don't think it suits me because everything wants to fall out and I don't want everything falling out. So <laughs> there we go. Um, let me just quickly get the name for you guys. I got this in a size four again. Baby blue crepe double knot front. Top. Guys, I have found a bandu, I think it's called, a bandu top that does not show anything. Yes, finally. <laughs> I can show this one to you guys. So, this one actually doesn't show anything. I didn't realise it's way better quality than the rest. Like, the material's way thicker. And it has, like, a band around here to, like, hold everything in, I suppose. It's a really, really good bandu top. The others are very flimsy. However, they're still really comfortable, really nice. They're just very see-through. Which isn't something I like. <laughs> However, you can get things to solve that, which I'm going to try get. And within the next couple of days or whenever I want to wear the tops because they're a bit much but I do really love this one it's lovely I would definitely recommend this one it's completely covered lovely top will look great in the summer you can get that tan on your shoulders without getting a tan line like like I do that strap line there but you guys won't get that with this top so let me just get the name quick this top is called Red Slinky Bandu Crop Top. I got it in a size 4. Again, I think everything's in a size 4. There might be a couple of sexes, I'm not sure, but... Found a temporary way to so sort out the see-through issue. I think you guys can see what I've done because of how see-through the top is. I've got another bandu top, which is kind of what you wear underneath stuff, and I've put it underneath the bandu top. So I've got this white lacy one on underneath, as you guys can see. Just for now, I don't think I'd wear this as a look when I go out and stuff, because it doesn't complement you as much as it could and it looks a bit odd because you can see it because the top's so see-through um i will get something else to sort that in the future but for now i'm just gonna do that so i can show you guys the tops properly i do love this top again it's amazing will look so good in the summer so good with a tan again goes with my white boots really well this is like a full outfit like i've got all my summer outfits here everything goes so that's just great I got this in a size 4, again, of course I did, and let me get the name. This top is called Dusky Blue Stripe Bandu Top. So I was going to try the next bandu top on while I had my other bandu top on to stop it from being see-through. However, it isn't see-through. This one again, although it's such a light colour, is good quality like the red one that I mentioned before, so you cannot see anything. It's perfect. The colour, I love it, it's perfect for summer, isn't see-through, so cosy, well not cosy, but comfy. You won't get a strap mark, it's perfect. The top that I have on right now was me trying something different. I don't normally wear these kind of checkered, long-sleeved kind of tops, and different is great. <laughs> I love this top so much, I did not expect to love it as much as I do. I'd say it's one of my favourite items, however, I need to stop ordering size fours in these kind of more chest area tops because again you can't actually see it right now because I've got it in a good position however you can see a bit of underneath kind of if you would notice it it's not noticeable on first glance but it is out there a little bit which I'm not too pleased about however that was my sizing choice because I am normally a size four but in these kind of tops that are just over this area I tend to be a bigger size which I didn't really realize until now but I definitely am <laughs> however it is an amazing top i love it so much again i've got another summer outfit people matches my boots matches my shorts i could put it on with a nice pair of trainers put it on with high-waisted jeans imagine this with high-waisted jeans how good would that look it's my new fave outfit even though i haven't tried it on yet <laughs> this is called 
Where is the packaging? What are you called? What are you called? Um, ignore the mess. Obviously, I'm trying clothes on, so <laughs> there's a lot of packets around. This is called Mustard Check Buckle Detail Crop Top. I got this in a size 6. This is a size 6. There's me thinking I needed a size 6, and I don't know, I might need a bigger size. Wow. It does, it does fit okay, but I don't know, in the future I think I'd want to be more cautious just because there is a little bit showing. It's nowhere near as bad as the top that, there was a red top that I completely covered. It's nowhere near as bad as that, as you guys can see, because I wouldn't be showing it. However, I do want to be more wary with tops like this in the future. Oh my god, you guys, look at this skirt. This is everything. I have wanted a skirt like this for so long, and here it is. I love it. It's so nice. This is it's perfect. So, yeah, no, no more words other than name and size. This is pale pink. I think that's meant to say full flippy. What? Hem mini skirt. It's something like that. And I got it in a size four again. Kind of gone up a bit there. Oops. <laughs> so, that is what this skirt looks like. This is, again, amazing. Everything I could have wanted. I love this skirt. It's perfect again. <laughs> I'm so impressed with these skirts. These skirts are lovely. This skirt is a red vinyl skirt. Let me get the name and the size. Petite red vinyl mini skirt in a size 4. Which I probably actually could have done with a bigger size because I could not get this over my bum. Oh, it took me a while, but I've got it on now and it looks amazing. Another skirt that was very hard to put on, but was worth it. I love this skirt. It's exactly the same as the last skirt, but just in pink. I think I'm going to get some good use out of these skirts. I really love them. Again, this is a size 4 in the petite section. Yeah, not much else to say about this skirt. This is the next item of clothing. It's this blue vest with the white outline. I'm wearing it right now with my shorts and my boots again. However, I think this would be really nice to wear to the gym or something like that. However, with a sports bra underneath or something like that, I just really like the colouring and I feel like it looks very sporty. So, I really like this. Let me just get the name and size. This is called Baby Blue Contrast Stripe Crop Top and I got it in a size 4. So yeah, again, this is a thumbs up. This is the final item of clothing in my try on haul. I love it, it's so nice. I love the yellow colour and the kind of stripy band. It's really nice, it's very summery as well. It goes lovely with a pair of shorts, maybe a pair of trainers. However, it goes nice with the boots anyway. I really like this, again, it would say it's a thumbs up. One of my favourite pieces, but I've said that. Well, I haven't said it, but I thought that about like everything, so I don't know, I love everything in this haul. This is called Yellow Crepe Multi Sport Band Crop Top and I got it in a size 4. So everyone, that is the end of my pretty little thing try on haul. It's a really fun try on haul to do. I actually love basically everything that I got. There was one top that I said I would be taking back, but not because I didn't love it, just because it didn't fit me properly. Not how I expected it to look um, in person, it was very different. Well, it wasn't literally very different, it just fit my body very different. However, it was still a lovely item. I hope you guys really enjoyed the haul aspect of this vlog today. Let me know what you think of this kind of haul thing in the vlog down below in the comments. Also, I think I'm going to end this week's vlog here because it's a very long vlog. I've done a lot of talking in this vlog, especially in this haul part. And at the start of the vlog, I think I spoke about quite a lot of things, quite a lot of updates from over the week. So I'm going to end this week's vlog here. So that is the end of this week's vlog. I'll see you all next week. I upload every Friday at 5pm in case you are interested and would like to come back and see my weekly uploads. Also, please subscribe if you have not already. You don't have to, but it would make me very happy. Also, please give this video a thumbs up if you like the whole haul aspect. At least that way I'll get an idea of what you guys like and I can know whether I'll do another one again if I order some more clothes in the future. Please let me know what you think in the comments as well. I think I already said that, but as I was going through, subscribe, like, you know, thought I should say it. So now I have to go tidy my room because I have a mess. 
full of clothing all over the bed. So I'll see you guys next week. I love you all so much and thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. I remember every day that I have spent